This is giving me nostalgia, y'all. I remember when I used to do sew-ins on blog TV back in the day. How many of y'all remember that? Y'all, oh my gosh, my hair looks so good, so flat. If you have not tried tape-ins, what the heck are you waiting for, baby? Go ahead, try them out now. Hey, dolls and gents. Today, I am gonna be doing a video on these hair extensions from Y Wigs. These are tape in hair extensions, y'all. This is my first time trying tape ins. I was gonna get somebody in Atlanta to do my tape in install for me. Super professional. There are so many people who are well known for doing tape ins here in Atlanta. But not only were they charging 500 plus for these tape in extension installations, but majority of them were booked out for like weeks and months. I'm like, sis, I don't have time to be waiting, okay? So I was like, I'm going to install them myself. Self and I'm going to share how I did it with y'all today. I would like to thank YWIX for sponsoring today's video and sending me these gorgeous tape and hair extensions. So do y'all see how my hair is meshing so good with these tape ends y'all. I got their light yaki texture and it goes perfectly with my natural hair straightened. I'm still natural. No, I didn't relax my hair. It absolutely matches my natural hair. It matches the color. Everything just blends flawlessly y'all. It's, it's insane how good these blend in with my hair. So I actually have some left over. This is what a pack of the tape ends looks like. This is their 22 inch light yaki and the texture, like I said, is so, so pretty. This is the natural texture before co-washing and before straightening the hair and I absolutely love it. I think I got these in a 1B color, but I will leave all that information in the description box down below for you guys. I asked for four sets, but honestly, you only need two, y'all. Ever since installing this hair, I cannot stop touching my hair. The texture feels so good good. I'm so used to wearing wigs and back in the day I would wear sew-ins and it never felt as flat as these tape-ins. So if you have been contemplating trying tape-in extensions, sis, try them. Install them yourself if you feel confident enough to do so. If not, you are going to be spending a pretty penny getting them installed, but I think it's worth it. I think I did okay for my first install, y'all. Like, what? I still can't believe that I was able to install these extensions so flawlessly on my first time. So if I can do it, you can do it too, baby. Y'all, I found like two gray hairs. I'm getting old. Do y'all see this? Am I getting wise or am I just getting old? Look at my hair, y'all. Are you kidding me? This is my hair, baby. You can't tell me this ain't my hair. Goodbye. You would like to see how I installed these gorgeous tape and hair extensions from YWIX today, then y'all know what to do. Definitely stay tuned, guys. So I'm starting off with freshly washed hair. I blow dried it. I made sure I didn't use any product because you don't want anything in your hair. So all I did was wash it with shampoo, condition it with a moisturizing conditioner, no product added, blow dried my hair, drained my hair with a flat iron, and then I got into my pattern. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like now. So I know this looks chaotic, but I first started by braiding out the middle parting that I wanted to do. So all the hair that's braided is gonna be my leave out. This braid on here is for my side part. I only want it side parting on one side and then I braided the back all the way around the perimeter to the other side and then all the ponytail portions I have three ponytails these are going to be the areas that I apply the tape in so all the braided portions are my leave out all the ponytails are where we are going to place the tape ends all right this worked baby so my tape ends came packaged in this gorgeous black sleep packaging and it also came with these edges y'all these are like lace edges also this little thing to get your hair out the way extra tape clips and here are the tape and extensions here it comes with 40 pieces per bundle y'all and i got four in total which you do not need i would recommend using only two bundles or less so i'm going to start with the back section i'm going to take a 
small piece out about a half centimeter of hair out and this is going to be where we place the tapes first in a downward motion so I decided to place three tapes on this section so I'm placing them on the top first I did one on the side one in the middle and one on the other side and I made sure that I didn't place it directly on the edges that way I can wear my hair up in a half up half down hairstyle because I'm able to cover the tracks there now you're going to want to flip those tracks up and then you're going to place the tape on the opposite side so make sure you remove any excess hair your natural hair that you have that's not going to stick to that tape because it does not belong there before you do this step now if you have a tool they use a little plier tool to tighten the tape to make sure it's nice and secure. You can do that now. You can also use a cold flat iron, but I decided not to do that. I just use my fingers. I did have a mirror in front of me to help me see the back of my head, but even so, this is the hardest process of this all. It's not really a hard process, but it's just seeing the back of your hair and making sure that you're getting things put in the right place, especially when you're sandwiching these tape ins, y'all. So I'm applying my last sandwich tape in so that I can finish up this first row. And honestly, there was a learning curve, but once I got over this first row, I was like, okay, I kind of got the gist of it. Let's go on to the next one. So I'm doing a brick stacking with the tape ends, which basically means, see on that bottom layer, I did three tapes. On this next layer, I'm gonna do two, and it's going to overlap the open areas that I did. This is going to make sure that your tape and install is full, but not too full, and it's gonna make sure you don't have any open gaps where you can see your natural hair, and there's no tape ends there and no length there, because you don't want that. So I'm gonna do this back and forth brick stacking across the whole entire back of my head. So if I apply two tape ends, then I'm going to apply three next time on the next row. Then the next time I'm gonna apply two. If I apply four, then I'm gonna apply three on the next row. You just wanna make sure that you are brick stacking. Y'all know what that means. So here is an example, y'all. I applied four tape ends right here. This is in the center of my head. I would say this is the only place I think I applied four tape ends. I think I did three across for the most part other than right here. So that means on the next row above this, I'm going to do three tapes across on the empty portions. Really when I do four, it's not too many empty portions, but you just want to place them in a brick stack because that's going to give you the best overall look and fullness to your install. I know it probably looks intimidating, especially because you have to do the back of your head, but if you can get someone to help you that you trust, then do that. And this step will be a lot easier than doing it yourself, but it is possible to do on yourself. I did it and I would do it again, y'all. So I'm finishing out the back section. I'm just using one to close it out, one tape in. So once we have that situated, it's time to move on to the front. Section out my leave out on the left-hand side first, and then I'm going to work on the bottom section underneath that braid, and I'm going at an angle here, y'all. I want my hair to look more full, so I'm gonna angle it towards the front of my head, and that also allows it to pull back so that I can place it in a ponytail tell so I'm going to do like five or six of these on this area and I'm doing really thin parts as you can see and I'm doing the back first and then I'm pushing it back and adding it to the front side of the hair front of the hair was the hardest part for me to do I think my peripheral vision is not that great so now I'm moving on to the area above the side parting braid leave out and I'm going to apply two here one on each row and then we're gonna move on to the other side so now I'm gonna work on the right hand side of my hair and I'm gonna section this out into two parts just like I did the other side. Honestly, you don't have to do this. You could do all of them at an angle, which is what I would do next time. 
but for this time I did not do that so I'm sectioning out that back and I'm applying these at an angle just like I did on the other side of my head so next I'm going to move on to the other section on this side and I'm going to place these tape ends just the traditional way as you can see and I think I installed maybe like five tape ends right here but I would do all of them angled at the top that's going to give you the best motion for doing an updo or applying your hair in a ponytail y'all this has been a process i was like over it at this point but it turned out so good i'm just taking down my leave out and then i'm flat ironing it i did flat iron the back portions but not the front portions of my hair but they got a little crinkly from the braids so i'm just going over it again i rarely straighten my natural hair so i am using quite a bit of heat but because i rarely do it i think it's okay and i just made sure i applied heat protectant to my hair ahead of time so for my first tape-in installation, I think that it turned out really good, y'all. I was so excited to see the results after doing this. It took me about two and a half, three hours to install the tape-ins, and it would probably take me less time if I wasn't filming. I had to make sure that the camera was in focus and that y'all could see what I was doing as I was doing it. So yeah. If you've tried tape and extensions, let me know what your experience was in the comment section down below. And if you've been contemplating it, let me know that as well. But I hope that this helped you to figure out whether you want to try tape or not. But I would say definitely try them out, see how you like them, get them installed professionally so your hair is good. Or like I mentioned, if you're confident enough, try them yourself like I did. I think that they look really great. They're super flat, super versatile, and it's just another way for us to have longer hair or more fullness so that we can enjoy more versatile styles. I don't know the upkeep and maintenance of the tape ends because I've only had them installed for four days now, but I will definitely keep y'all updated if you wanna see an updated video on them. So it's super satisfying straightening my hair and just seeing the overall result of applying the tape ends after doing them for a couple of hours. At this point, I was just like, I'm tired and I'm ready for my hair to just be done. But it looks so good and I was so happy with the result, y'all. And here is how my hair turned out after installing the tape and hair extensions from YWIG Shaw. If you're interested in checking out these tape and extensions, definitely check out the description box down below. I will have links and coupon codes for this hair. I know y'all are sick of me touching my hair, but I can't help it, y'all. These extensions look so good and feel so good. I've gotten so many compliments since I installed these. I've actually been wearing them for a few days now. I filmed the install video a few days ago and I've been wearing them out. My boyfriend loves them. I've been getting compliments when I go out, even like if I'm looking bummy AF, like, Folks are telling me I love your hair. Like, somebody thought this was my hair, okay? I was just like, thank you. I mean, if they thought it was my hair, I'm not gonna tell them it wasn't. My most favorite part about these tape ends is I can get to my scalp and scratch y'all. I don't know I've talked about how dry and like itchy my scalp can get. So being able to just go in here and scratch is everything, okay? So I can also wear this hair in a side parting as you can see. So even though this was my first time installing tape ends, I wanted to have option jaw. So I can wear this in a middle parting, side parting, half up, half down, and I can do a full ponytail up do so if y'all would like to see more styling videos with the tape and extensions let me know in the comments down below and thumbs up this video and i will catch y'all in my next video bye i've been uploading new videos every two days on my youtube channel so if you're not already caught up click the box right here and it will take you to all of my latest uploads